Melika Sarabay, uh, you will uh, tonight have a special show with Elizabeth Sombart, Woman with Broken Wings. Could you just explain the story of this show? You know, um, this show was born here in this very hall last year when Elizabeth and I started talking and she had this dream of creating a memorial for all the women who have died for no reason of their own through war, through uh, being aborted, uh, with acid thrown on them, used as collateral damage. And we felt very strongly, both of us, that we wanted to create something. So over the year we have been working. It's a piece in 12 parts and it goes from a mother giving birth and the pain from which the child is born. But the mother always has a wish that her daughter will have a better future. The child grows and gets aware of her body, then gets aware of a safe space where she's protected. And then slowly as she grows up, there is an internal space that starts developing, a space of fantasy. And soon in adolescence, she starts trying, what are the roles I want to play? And she has role models and she has imaginary role models and she tries to fit these. And then suddenly before she knows it, she's married. And suddenly, in different ways, in different parts of the world, different limitations are put on her. Even in the Western world, once you are married, there are things you do and you don't do. But across the world, and there are these limitations, and her walls start getting smaller and smaller. And there's no, don't do this, no, don't do this, no, don't do this. So it's that suddenly, the woman is voiceless, and she can't see, and she's faceless, and she becomes just a body. A body for the men of the world to take revenge, for anybody to take revenge. She's just, she's just there. And from there, we go into this eternal lament, and then into what we call the March of the Martyrs, which is all the thousands of women nameless, faceless, who have given up their lives, till we go to a time when we say, we need to change that, we need to break the boundaries. We need to make a ritual of taking all the boundaries that surround us and destroy them so that we create a future where this no longer happens. And what do you think dance can bring uh, to help this understanding? Arts are a more powerful language to reach the soul and the mind than any talking, than any number of lectures, than any amount of reading. And I think because people are caught unawares, their walls are not up when they're seeing a performance. And that's why you can go through those walls, you can surpass them and go somewhere where you don't need to be didactic about it. And I think we have had enough didactic dialogue over the last hundred years and it hasn't changed the world for the better. So perhaps the arts are the correct language.